Okay, this is one small thing that I've done. I don't know if you can see it. Is you have to replace it every <clears throat> every couple of weeks or week. But I just double wrap an elastic underneath this part of the strap near the buckle. And then I can tuck the tail of the leg loop and the tree motion through here. So it's not doing all that flip flopping all over the place. Never good to see a dryad cat. Mushroom in one of my favorite old yard trees. This one's edible. You can tell just by the look of it, but it also has the watermelon smell to it. That's how you tell a dryad cap. So this is the little hitch that uh, I kind of made on my own, combining Sam Cooper's <coughs> hitch and the XT type hitch that Rich Hattier climbs. And this one's four wraps, fourth wrap becomes a braid. It's X'd here. Then it's brought around and it's X'd on this side and then it's brought around in front of the rope. So the rope is actually running free here. You can see it just puts a nice <clears throat> gentle bend in the rope here, even less than a VT. It grabs right away. It kind of sits like this and it breaks quite easily and runs very smooth through here as you can see. It grabs instantly. It'll still tend. Easily. Even one handed. It's kind of wet here today. It rained all night. You can see that that tends real easy. I came up with this, the Lou hitch, or the Dos Equis, whatever you want to call it. Double X, X here, X there. Crossed over in front, four wraps. Right. Yeah, I'll show you how I tie this. <clears throat> there we go, one, two, three, four wraps. I'll leave the one a little bit longer. I do an X here, cross the top over the bottom one, bring it around the back side, cross the bottom one over the top one, like this. One more little turn, and then I bring it in front, <clears throat> just like this. And line up your double fishermen so the flat spots are on there. Bring down the, the stiffy. Pull in. Through here. Through this eye. Spin that around. <clears throat> and then up. There you have it. And that's how it's tied. Really simple. Seems to work for me so far. Tends up nice, grabs right away. Tends up nice, grabs right away. It's a very gentle bend in the rope, which is what I want. Keeps the rope away from the stiffy, which is what I want. And that's it. Now what I've done, I know the Rich is doing it on the new ones, which I didn't have one. He's putting a piece of rubber bandit on the back eye of here to keep it from <clears throat> doing the neutral hang and hanging down like when you're tending it up so it doesn't drop down like this all the time and stay there. So what I've done is I've just put a bandit through there and I tied a little piece of zingit. This is my tending loop and I'm climbing and that keeps it pretty much engaged or uh, out of neutral hang. Then when I get on it, it engages. So again, it's tending up nice. Doesn't have that drop back. And then it engages. We'll see how this goes down. Get the brakes right above ground. Locked up right away. Get off of it. I'm not gonna touch it yet. 
breaks pretty easily.